Now, I was just watching the Getting It How I Live channel, right? Go ahead and subscribe to him if you're not familiar with him. He does similar content to me, right? He's dope, right? Now, I'm watching his video. And by the way, I'm going to give him full credit for the video. But he said something so crazy that it caused my mind to do a gazillion backflips and the theory that I came up with to expound on what he said is going to blow your mind. Some of you may say it's a reach, but the way I'm going to make this make sense, I just wanted to be known that I am the first person to say this. I'm going down to history for this. Look, Famous was in prison with Kanan. Season 1 of OG Power. Let's talk about it, all right? So, getting it how I live, he mentioned this at the end of his last video, right? And once he said it, he didn't really expound on it, right? And I started thinking that I know exactly how this worked. If that really was famous. Now, he also said in his video that in 50 Cent's book, he said that from the beginning of the whole power series, he wanted to do spinoffs. So that's what 50 Cent said in his book. That's what Getting and How I Live, who read the book, said that that's where that reference is from. So now, if we consider that to be true, now I'm about to blow y'all minds, all right? Famous was in prison with Kanan in Power Season 1. Now, if you remember them scenes, right? Kanan, he playing chess, he chilling. He's cool with this Puerto Rican cat. Now, this could already be famous because, for one, I've been to prison. In prison, right, black people and Puerto Ricans, they not cool like that. And in a lot of situations, if you Puerto Rican and you in a gang or something, and your celly is, like, black, they'll tell you, like, yo, you got to fight him so you can get moved somewhere else. You got to be with your people. So the fact that they was there together and, and they were chilling, that already could be famous, right? And I also, by the way, want to add... Famous called Kanan K, just like this Puerto Rican guy in prison with Kanan called Kanan K. Just think about that. Now, they had their little brotherly fight. It wasn't that serious. Kanan is like, yo, man, set the board up for when I come back. He roughed him up a little bit. He was stronger than him. We just seen Kanan slap Famous. Kanan's stronger than Famous right now, right? It's possible that Famous been in prison this whole time now. I'm really about to blow y'all minds. Listen to this. The next point, right? Detective Garcia is probably already working on the case and not telling Howard because he doesn't trust him, even though he knows Howard works that area. Even though he knows this, right? It's possible, right? Howard already has some kind of informant around rocking everyone right now. That's one thing. But at the end of season two, you got Garcia talking to the old man. The old man's picture should be shown in the video right now, right? It's possible that the old man is going to tell Garcia everything he knows. And then they're gonna correlate the previous situation where Famous got arrested, right? Kanan did what he did. He violated Freddie. They went and got their money back and everything, right? It's very possible that Detective Garcia is already working on this case and he's not telling Howard anything because he doesn't trust Howard. Mind you, be looking out for Adina, who was Burke's girlfriend, to be working with Garcia at some point. Be looking out for that, right? But the next point I want to make, the song that everyone is talking about on the internet, the famous 411 song, this is how famous goes to prison. <sighs> yes, I know, I know, I know. This is how famous goes to prison. He was already writing that song, starting to write the lyrics to that song in episode four. We seen it. All he's going to do is go to Lou. All he's going to do is go to Lou. He's going to say, yeah, I got something. I got something, right? Now, this is how 
they're gonna get the song. This is how they're gonna get the song. The feds, the police, they're gonna run up and lose house. They're gonna get their hands on them records and they're gonna listen to them records. Right? Famous is gonna make the record and, and Lou is gonna be like, yo, this song is fire. He gonna ask him, is that real life? You been through something? If Famous says, yo, this just something I came up with. It's not my real life. He going to be like, that's good. That's fire, right? And then he'll promote it, which will really get Famous in trouble. But if Famous tells him that it's about real life, he's going to hide it and keep it in the house. Either way, the Fed's going to hear the song. That song is going to get him locked up. First, they're going to arrest him, and then they're going to find the song. He's really going to be done. And they got him getting arrested already. They got him getting arrested already in the preview for episode five it's possible it's possible that we're gonna watch famous get arrested after he records that song and maybe he gets bailed and comes back out and goes back in maybe he gets killed before that if he's not in prison but we're gonna see him make that song and go to jail in real time so he really might never come back and then that's really famous in Canaan in season one of OG Power, right? And now the next point I want to make, right? The song blows up after he goes to jail. The song blows up. Or either way it goes, the song just blows up when it comes out. Maybe he intended for it not to come out, but it did. Maybe Lou said don't put it out, but famous didn't listen and he put it out, got himself locked up, right? And now this is another crazy thing that I want y'all to consider. You might consider all of these points to be a reach, but don't lie. I know it makes sense. <laughs> this is a, this makes a lot of sense. But let me blow y'all mind some more, right? Let's say he had a 30-year bid, right? I don't know. It's probably like what? 92, 93 right now, something like that. In the Canaan timeline, when you get locked up in prison, right? And let's say you locked up for murder or something. You'll be going to jail for two or three years. I mean, you'll be in on Rikers Island for two, three years before you take your bid. I mean, before you cop out and you go do your time. So it could be, let's say, 1996. 1996, when he finally goes up north to serve his time, right? It's 1996. That would have him coming home in 2026, which is the sixth season of Ghost and the fifth season of Force. There are potential plot lines with both of those. They got to have a scenario where because Tommy ripping and running, he ripping and running in Chicago and he dealing with Spanish people. You know what I mean? They could make it make sense where somehow, some way, Famous heard about Tommy. Even if he never met Tommy, he still knew who Tommy was because Kanan told him about Tommy. Kanan told him about Tommy while they were locked up. And he might come home like, yo, listen, I'm down bad. I need some money. And Tommy might be like, I rock with you. Or he could be somebody who got bad intentions. And then when it come to ghosts, you know, um, just put him and Tariq in the same room and let's see where it goes. But y'all let me know what y'all think. This is one of the most epic theories of all time. And it could be true. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.